Hey there, lovely people. Welcome or welcome back to a Writing Tip Tuesday. I'm Sammy and I'm a writer who likes to help other writers become better writers. So this week I wanna to talk to you about developing your writing routine. I made a video at the end of the year talking about setting writing goals and I think this is a good pair to that. So if you haven't seen that video yet, I would take a look at that one as well, either before or after watching this one. And if you learned something from this video, please leave a like down below. It'll really help me out and show YouTube that maybe more people will also learn something from this video. So let's talk about your writing routine. First of all, why do you need a writing routine? The best the best way to become a better writer is to write more. You're never gonna figure out what's not working, what is working, what your strengths and weaknesses are, how to address your weaknesses, how to strengthen your strengths if you're not practicing. Having that regular writing routine will give you the opportunity to learn all of what you need to know about your own writing and how to make it the best that it can be. And Having a regular writing routine also is insanely beneficial to achieving your writing goals. Doing the practice regularly gets you closer to where you wanna be. If you wanna write a book by the end of the year, if you write for 10 minutes every day, you may achieve that. It's little pieces, but it's a lot easier to grab a hold of than it is to say, I'm gonna write a book by the end of the year and not have any kind of system in place to get you there. So a writing routine is just a step towards achieving all of your goals. And it should be one of your first goals to establish that routine. So where do you start in developing that writing routine? I would say the first step is to identify the time of day that is best for you creatively. If that's first thing in the morning when you have your fresh cup of coffee or tea or before you have breakfast or something, before you work out, after you work out, at 2 a.m. after lunch, whatever time of day you are the most creative during, you wanna identify that time of day as your first step to developing that writing routine. And that may take a little bit of effort from you. You may have to try across a couple of weeks, different times of day and compare which time made you feel the best. Take notes maybe on how you feel like you did and what outside factors maybe had an impact on that level of creativity. Like for me, I feel more creative when I first wake up than I do after a day of work because I don't have the mental energy to expel on creating something at the end of the day. But typically I have very detailed dreams and I will often wake up having solved a problem in my story or coming up with a new character idea that may lead to a really great story or something like that from a dream that I've had. So first thing in the morning is the best time for me to write after I have breakfast. That's what I know about myself. So figuring that out about you is your first step. Once you know what time of day is your ideal writing time, I want you to look at your days. Every single day, what does your day look like? What does your schedule look at that time of day, seven days of the week? Break it down, Monday it looks like this, Tuesday it looks like this. What kind of outside of your control factors of your life are going to impact that time of day. So if you prefer to write at 2 a.m., but you have to work at 8 a.m., that's an outside factor that's going to impact your writing routine. If it's like practically impossible for you to use your best time of day to write every day or even most days, you're gonna wanna find a backup. So like my backup would be around lunchtime. I've had many jobs that I work first thing in the morning, super early. I've been on a truck team. I've been a barista. I've been all over the place where I had to be at work at 6 a.m. So if I know that that's gonna be an impact, my next best time would probably be a few hours after I got off of that shift. So maybe like four o'clock, five o'clock, because I'll have the time to decompress from that and try and build up my energy again. So your second step is to combine your ideal writing time with your required life schedule and see how those two things can work off of each other or work together so you can have that optimal balance of required life and 
writing goals. So now that you know what your schedule is going to look like, it's time to set some goals. It's not necessarily a long-term goal like I talked about in my goal setting video. It's more so something small and achievable that will say you've had a good writing session. So that could be, I want to achieve 500 words. I want to write 25 words. I want to sit down and focus on writing exclusively for 15 minutes every time I sit down to write. I want to write for an hour every time I sit down to write. Whatever that goal may be, it's something that you need to have available to set for every time you're going to sit down and write. I like to adjust for smaller goals when you're starting off on your routine. So I want to write 20 words on my project every time I sit down to write. Every time I sit down to edit something that I've written, I want to sit down for 10 minutes. Something that's easy and doesn't seem like a lot of work because there there are going to be times that you are going to have to force yourself into doing your writing routine and having that be a small step, like 10 minutes, you just have to do it for 10 minutes. I've had a long day. It's been awful. My boss yelled at me. I just, I just want to lay down. It's 10 minutes and you can still be on a roll with your writing goals. I just have to do 25 words. That's like two sentences. I can write two sentences and there's always going to be a chance that once you get that momentum started, you'll just want to keep going. But if you don't, you've got a small enough goal that you can handle it and you can keep your streak up with your writing routine. So there are some different methods that you can go about getting your writing routine started and figured out. Some of the ways that I typically would recommend would be small habit forming, like those 15 minutes, 25 words, something bite-sized that is easy to achieve every day. Something that you do every day is the key point there. If you're not gonna do the habit every day, it's gonna be a lot harder to build. Once you're used to it, it doesn't have to be every day per se, but it's definitely gonna help at the beginning to do your writing routine every single day and making it small makes it easier to do that. Another way that you can go about making sure that you will do your writing routine is through calendar blocking. So calendar blocking is basically taking everything that you need to do in a day and putting it into a timeline. This can be on paper, I do it on paper. It can be in Google Calendar, it can be on your phone's calendar. Just block out, like. Like, I'm going to be at work from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., I am unavailable to do any of these things, but I have a lunch for this amount of time, blah, blah, blah. So you have any time before 10 a.m. and any time after 6 p.m. Block in your commute time, block in the time it's going to take you to make food, and then schedule in that you're going to write. Schedule in that you're going to exercise. Whatever your day looks like, this is especially helpful for people like me who work from home and have multiple things that just sort of take a lot of time. I set my own schedule, so that's super helpful for me, aside from a few meetings that I have to do, but I get to decide how long I'm going to spend on things, and having that calendar blocked, I I'm going to spend two hours on this task. I'm going to spend four hours on this task. I'm going to spend three hours writing. I'm going to eat my meal at this time. Having that clearly laid out makes it really hard to not follow the structure, especially if you're a type A person who really likes to plan things out. Another way that I would recommend would be a first thing, last thing method. Either the first thing that you do every day is to sit down and write whatever your goal is, or the last thing that you do every day is to sit down and write. So this just builds it into your normal routine. So if you normally wake up, brush your teeth, make breakfast, whatever, get dressed for work, now you wake up, sit down and write for 15 minutes, brush your teeth, whatever. If your nighttime routine is to take a shower, brush your teeth, do your skincare routine and read a book and go to bed. Now your routine is going to be do your skincare routine, write for 15 minutes, read and go to bed. So it's just building in your writing routine into the routines that you already have in practice. This works best for people who do have a morning routine or a nighttime routine already figured out. So I would recommend that to you exclusively if you have those. I don't have a morning routine or a nighttime routine, so it would make my life a little bit more difficult because I'd have to figure out that routine. But it can also just be like a first thing, last thing that you do before you start your nighttime routine or right after you finish your morning routine or so on and so forth. It just has to be something that you do 
regularly? Are you picking up on the trend yet? Another way that is kind of a middle zone would be to reward yourself after completing your writing routine. This can this this can be a little bit iffy if you don't do it with a positive perspective on it. The way that I would explain this would be that you are taking something that you would normally do that you normally enjoy and you are putting it after your writing routine. So if you come home from work and you normally watch TV and eat dinner, this is just going to say, I'm gonna watch TV after I do my writing routine. It shouldn't be, I can't watch TV until I do my writing routine. It should be, I'm going to reward myself with this thing that I wanna do after I finish my goals. It's, it's a very, very thin line. So I don't recommend this one as much as I do the other ones, but if you know you're very reward motivated, it may be beneficial to you. So long as you are not punishing yourself, it shouldn't be, oh, I can't go to the bathroom until I finish my writing routine. I can't eat until I finish my writing routine. I can't have water until I finish my writing routine. This is not how I want that to go for you. Don't do that. Please do not do that. That is not what this is about. It's, I really want dessert today, but I'm not gonna have dessert unless I finish my writing routine. That's not a punishment, that's a reward. Make sure it's a reward not a punishment. I just wanna reiterate some of the things that make having a writing routine really helpful to new writers. It is habit forming, it's really great. It makes it harder to not do once you have figured out how to make it a part of your day-to-day -day life. Having a writing routine is also really great for beating imposter syndrome, which can be something that a lot of beginning writers have. I'm not a good enough writer because my writing isn't like theirs or my writing isn't like this or whatever. I'm not a writer because I'm not published. Having a habit that you are regularly participating in developing your craft is going to help combat that. I'm a writer because I write every single day. It gives you something to defend yourself with when imposter syndrome tries to strike. And it can be super helpful in that situation. I'm not saying that imposter syndrome will go away entirely. It still hasn't for me, but it's still something that you can have on hand when you start to feel like you are not becoming better at writing. When you have a writing routine with small goals, bite-sized goals, it makes it a lot harder for a writer's block to become a problem. So you don't really have writer's block that often. It gives you more time to be working on your story and easier amounts of effort to put in because they're small goals that you don't really have to worry about four chapters ahead or what's gonna happen at the end of the scene of dialogue because you've made yourself a smaller writing goal and you're regularly in touch with this story. The regularity of your writing routine will make it easier, faster, and surprising how quickly you'll achieve your final goal or get to a finished product or a finished draft more so. So giving yourself that time to put in effort, a lot of little bits of effort will make a big effort. It's also really rewarding to just be able to say, yeah, I write every day or I have a regular writing routine. I do this much per week. Having that ability to say that, sometimes even if you have like a calendar, like just a regular paper calendar and you just check off every day that you write, it's just really rewarding to look at it. And that can also be a big motivator if you don't wanna see a day on that calendar missed, keep it up, you know? And having a regular writing routine helps you develop as a writer. It helps you notice trends that you have in your writing. I use to the point that too much. I know that because I talk to myself so often by talking to you and then future me edits. I know that I say to the point that too often. I probably do that in my writing as well. Being as in touch with your writing as you are when you have a regular routine allows you to see the things that can strengthen your writing. Do I use said too much? Do I not use said enough? It gives you the opportunity to learn and continue to grow because you are honing in your craft every day. And if your end goal is to be a full-time author, which is not necessarily everyone's goal, but if it is, this is giving you practice 
for what your life might look like as a full-time author. There are a lot of authors who just lock themselves in a room for 12 hours a day because they just wanna write. And there are some who have like a regular writing schedule. So giving yourself the opportunity to explore what your writing routine may look like if you are able to dedicate all of your time to that may be super beneficial to you in the future. And I just want to note that I understand that not every writer is gonna be able to say, I'm gonna write every single day for this amount of time. Some people have a lot of stuff going on. If you've got three jobs, if you've got a job, a full-time job and three kids, whatever kind of situation that you are in that makes it so you can't write every single day, there's something stopping you from writing on this day or that day, or you can only write four days a week because of whatever. Having a routine that you are consistent to every day that I can, every one of those four days that I can write, I will, is going to be better than not doing it at all, not trying to establish that routine. I will say typically it's easier to build a habit when you don't have breaks, but if you are busy and your life won't allow you to do it safely for your mental health and physical health, then don't. I'm not in charge of you. I wanna see you succeed. So if the way that you are gonna succeed is to write a couple of days a week and have slightly bigger goals, maybe you'll write for 40 minutes instead of 20 or whatever it is. Maybe you'll set your goal for 500 words instead of 50. Whatever your writing goals are, however you wanna achieve them, what your timeline is, how much time you have to dedicate to your writing is what's important. And the fact that you are putting in the effort to develop a writing routine is way more important than whether or not you do it every single day. So that is all I have for you today on writing routines. I hope you learned something. If you did, leave a like down below. It'll really help me out. Let me know if you have any questions or what your writing routine looks like in the comments down below. I'd love to hear about it and see if I can help you out anymore. If you don't wanna miss another one of my uploads, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it. That'll let you know every time that I upload. I upload every Tuesday and Saturday. So I will see you again on Saturday for a story study Saturday and back again on Tuesday for another writing tip Tuesday.